Did you know that you can create high quality consistent characters for 100% free? Well, let me show you how. But before we get started, remember to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be making use of something known as a seed. So the only tool we'll be using today is Leonardo AI. If you do not have an account, just go ahead and sign up for one. The sign up process is really simple. And this is the interface that you will see, like this is their homepage. And if you've been using AI generators that are based on stable diffusion, such as TensorArt and Leonardo AI, then you may have come across the word seed. Now, what a seed generally is, is a numerical value that is used to determine the starting point of an image generation. Now, just hit image generation and let's do this practically. So this is the image generation page. You can just go ahead and input your prompt over there. And you can now go ahead and choose the number of images that you want to receive by generation. If you are on a free plan, don't worry, you can absolutely do this on a free account. The one I'm using is actually a free account. So now we're just going to set our guidance scale and guidance scale is basically how strongly or weakly the AI is going to follow your prompt. So a high guidance scale basically means that it's going to follow your prompt very strictly and a low one means that you're leaving wiggle room for it. So I like the sweet spot of seven. So we're just going to leave that at seven and you can actually just go ahead and include a negative prompt or not. And now you can just go ahead and start generating your images. So here is our first image set of images and I particularly do not like this. So I'm just going to change uh, the aspect ratio to something more portrait. And here we have our second set of images, which is way, way better. I actually like these ones. Uh, the quality is actually really good. So we're just going to use this as our base images. So now we'll just go to the top right corner of those images and there are those three dots you're going to click there. You're going to click copy seed. So the next thing you do is just scroll all the way to the bottom on the left side panel and you're going to go to advanced settings and then you're going to check the use fixed seed. And now you're going to paste the seed that we've copied to this box just like this. Yeah, so once that's done, now that basically means that every image that you're going to generate is going to take is going to be based on these four images so we are going to leave our initial prompt as it is but now we are going to be adding on to the prompt what we want our character to be doing for instance now we're going to be say that the character we want a character that is looking happy so let's generate that and see what we get and this is our character this very same uh, character and now the character is all happy and smiley so just remember not to mess with the part of the prompt that was used to generate the seed image so now we're just going to be adding on to this prompt like for instance now we want our character to be seated at the park and here she is seated on a bench at the park perfect now we're just going to give different actions for this character and settings now we are going to give our character a different uh, facial expression let's say with uh, tears running down her cheeks and here we have our character with sad eyes and tears down her cheeks that's actually really nice so we're going to try something else let's try uh, something like uh, a frowning look on her face let's see the frown you can already see the eyebrows all together that's a good frown actually yeah, so basically this is what you do. But remember, if you do not uh, describe a different outside setting, the setting that you're going to get is for the seed character. Remember that. So if you want something outside, then you're going to have to describe a different setting. But as you can see, every facial expression that we are or that you're getting here without describing an outside scene, like a different kind of scene, we are getting the scene that was used in the seed character. So just bear that in mind. So here are our characters. You can see it's actually the same character and the consistency is actually really good. So now we are just going to try the character kneeling down. Let's see if we can hack that. And well, two of the characters are kneeling down. I don't know what's happening with the others, but that's the beauty of generating like a lot of images. That means you have a lot of choices. And yeah, instead of generating just one image, you see, with four images, at least you've gotten one usable image. 
now we are going to try something else let's see if we can have our character you know at the beach and here's our character at the beach awesome so like i said if you want a different scene from what they are from the scene that is in the seed character make sure you ask for a different scene in your description now if you want to see all the images that you've been generating all you have to do is just go back to the home page and hit personal feed and in the personal feed you'll be able to find all the images that you've been generating now let's see if we can replicate these results with a different character so now we are just going to describe now a different character and you're just going to start generating with this character so let's just see our first results and see if we like what we get and i think this is actually quite satisfactory the ai has actually given exactly what he asked for in the prompt now we are just going to do the same thing hit on those three dots on the right hand side of the images that we've generated and hit copy seed then you're going to go all the way to the bottom on the left hand side panel and you're going to hit advanced settings show advanced settings and you're going to check the use fixed seed and there we can now paste our seed that we have copied and in the same way now we can go back to our prompt that we had and now what we do is just add on to this prompt now we are going to ask our character to be seated on a bench in the park let's see if we can hack that now here we have our images very nice images same character no debate about that let's try something else let's try our character kneeling and see if we can actually get that as you can see just one of them has turned out to be kneeling again that's the beauty of generating a bunch of images at once uh, let's try something else uh, we're going to try our character laughing let's see if we can hack that and there you have it same character laughing hard like i said before if you do not describe a different scene then you're going to get the background that was used in the seed character so just bear that in mind and here's our character looking all sad and frowny let's see if we can have our character maybe cry let's see if we can have our character cry and here we do have some tears you can see some tears over here that's actually really nice so this is actually really easy guys it's actually the easiest way to get your character uh, to be consistent here you have your character at the beach also so all you need to do is actually just generate a bunch of images that you actually like and uh, once you get a set that you like just copy that seed and now base all your other generations on that seed that is how you get a consistent character no hassle like it's really 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 simple so here's our character you know looking at the sunset or watching the sunset I, i'm not sure which which is the right phrase um and here's our character you know looking at the stars that's nice now I, I i think at this point like you actually now get exactly what's going on like it's it's really 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 this simple guys i really hope you learned something new in case you have any questions make sure to just leave them in the comment section i'll be sure to get back to you and thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye